You know, coming here to San Diego, Balboa Park, I actually thought I was back in Latin America. This is like Colombia, Ecuador, Nicaragua, with all the colonization from Spain. And then I realized we stole or won San Diego in the Mexican-American War. But that was back in 1846 to 1848. Now you think about it, Russia is doing something similar. Look at that huge church. What's Russia doing? Well, the Ukraine was part, or if you're Russian, the Ukraine was part of the Soviet Union. They want it back. Is what Russia is doing currently like we would do in the 1800s, that is the United States and other countries, basically just take countries, independent nations by, in, by force? So the question I posit in national security, U.S. foreign policy, global politics, everything, is should we continue supporting the Ukraine because what Russia is doing is essentially something from the 18 and 1900s and shouldn't be done today. And if we should continue supporting Ukraine, right? How long should we go on? How much money, how much military might? Should we actually get involved with boots on the ground or planes, tanks, etc.? And what happens if someone did that during the Mexican-American War? Supported the Mexicans in order to push us out. Interesting historical and current events. I want people to start thinking about that. Because nowadays, obviously, the United States beat Mexico. And I love Mexico. But reality is reality. The question becomes, should we continue supporting the Ukraine or Ukraine? And for how long? Wow. I feel like I'm in Ecuador, Colombia, Nicaragua, etc. This was part of Mexico at one time and we took it. Is Russia doing something different now? Or is it just a different time? And we reject the notion of taking areas by force. Well, that's something to think about. Take care, everyone. And if you get a chance, visit Balboa Park.